So the two iron I currently have in the bag is this, the Titleist U500. And I do love this club, but I'll be honest, I didn't test that many other options. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. The first thing I'm gonna do is see which two iron best helps me hit a fairway. Another test I'm gonna carry out with these two irons is hitting it into a par five for my second shot. I want a two iron that's gonna be creative. I've gotta be able to hit it low. I've gotta be able to draw it, fade it, hit it high on demand. That is gonna be the final test. Now, who knows, these other options might catch my eye and might perform better. So I've got the TaylorMade Sim UDI, the Callaway X Forged UT, and I've got the Cobra King Utility Iron. So the hole I've selected for the fairway challenge is this, the 15th hole at May. Now, normally I'd be hitting driver here to try and avoid the trouble. However, for this test with two irons, I've got to be unbelievably precise. To hit the fairway on this hole with two iron is going to require accuracy. I've got a stream to carry at 210 yards. I've got a bunker to avoid on the left and the fairway is quite tight in the landing spot I want to be hitting two iron into. If I can hit two iron here, I can hit it anywhere. So after hitting loads of shots with all the different two irons, some hit the fairway, some missed, but overall there wasn't a lot in it between these four different two irons. So next test, I'm actually here on one of my favorite holes on the golf course, the 18th hole, par five, beautiful hole. And from this location here, from 250 yards away, this is where I want my two iron to deliver. I want to be able to hit one high and land it on that green and get it to stop. We've got Taylor made first. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, I love that. Might just be a tiny bit short. I'm actually going to go Cobra one next. Oh, it's not bad. It's just leaked a fraction to the right. Yeah, not bad. Green side. Oh, similar outcome to the Cobra there. Not bad but that might just catch greenside bunker. Oh, that was a different noise. A little bit more ear piercing. I've just slightly pulled it. Again, green side, not perfect. I actually don't think I've hit the green with any of those. I'm gonna do another test from slightly further up. I might have been a bit ambitious on a cold, wet day like today. Let's get a bit closer to the green and try those again. not seeing loads and loads of differences between the four clubs but there are subtle characteristics for example the cobra one definitely flies a little bit higher and the tailor-made comes out a little bit flatter two of them are in steel the cobra and the callaway and two are in graphite the titus and tailor-made i'll be honest i've not really seen any difference in that at all between the steel and the graphite okay we get down here and we see a scattering of balls everywhere around the green there are a couple on the greens a couple long left couple that just got caught up in the rough here and a few just short and one, I think there's a couple in that bunker. All in all, I've got to be honest, there's not much difference in performance. It's not as if I can say one of these two irons definitely performed better than the others because I can't really see the evidence of that. What I do know is they all did pretty well from that range into a par five. I've come down here to May today again because of the fantastic golf course but also because of this. I used to love hitting balls down here. This is the driving range and you hit floating golf balls into the driving range. I'm gonna spend a bit of time trying to be creative with these irons. What can I do with it? High, low, left to right, trying to shape them. How do they feel? Just to try and come up with an idea of which one I like the best. Let's have some fun.
Okay, all testing done, I'm back at the car and I need to make a decision. The first thing I wanna say, I loved testing those two irons. They all have strengths and somewhat weaknesses, but I need to make a decision and I think I've got to that decision. Right, first off, it's actually not gonna be the Callaway. Believe it or not, I was really looking forward to testing this and I've had a Callaway two iron in the past and loved it. With me this time, it was just a bit, ah, not very good off the face. It just didn't feel as hot. So Callaway is out. Next one. Unfortunately, it was just a bit too one dimensional. And it was this one, the TaylorMade UDI. Why I say it was one dimensional, it just goes low. Like I didn't feel like I could flight it high as well. And I spent some time on the driving range trying to big, hit big high draws and fades. It just did not work. Now I didn't think when I started this video that Cobra would, be, would get this far. I just didn't think it would do. But on performance, this was very, very nice. I didn't like the look of it, I'm afraid. It's just a bit too chunky, but on performance, it was possibly, well, one of the best I've tested today. However, the only thing that stops it from going in the bag for me is its size, its chunkiness, and I couldn't hit it as low as I wanted to all the time. So for me, believe it or not, after all that testing, I'm gonna keep the Titleist U500 two iron in the bag. If it's not broke, don't try and fix it. And sometimes I've got into the habit of doing that wrongly. Titleist is staying in the bag. It does everything for me. And it's, uh, it's cemented the reason why I love this club. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. And we'll see you next time.